You now tuned into me 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 million dollars worth of game. I'm gonna tell you some real funny stuff, right? What? Listen, man, we got Harlem's finest up here, but first mm-hmm. I gotta tell you some funny stuff, and I and I think I'm gonna laugh at Cam and Mace about this too. A week ago, I asked Gil. I said, "Cuz." Did you really think like you was going to the NBA or was you just balling? He said, yeah, dead serious. That was the funniest shit I heard like in, in all my life. Because I never thought I never thought that he would ever throw. I'm thinking like he just playing ball. I'm like, cuz is cuz is four nine and a, nine and a half. You know what I mean? With some with Tim's on. And, and so I said, I got I said, yo, did Cam and Mace think that shit? Too? Did they think, <laughs> did they, think they was going pro? Like, I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Because I know dudes around the way just be bowling. I'm like, did these dudes really think? Because I said, Gil said, yeah, I knew I was. I said, Gil, you, Gil, you played for like, you paid for like a D3 college. That was like North Philly University of. You said he went to college in a strip mall. Yeah, that too. That's what I'm saying. It was like a little small joint. That they, back then they didn't have online, but that would have been an online college. <laughs> he told, listen, he gonna tell me. He tell me. I got. He, he would say, I got. I got offers from. He said, Nor Dame. I said, Bro, you went to a local college. You didn't get offers from. <laughs> Do you tell them the importance of SATs? Yeah, yeah. SATs was crazy though. Yeah. Nah, it was what crazy. What did you score on it? It's like a six sixty. We no. You know what's crazy? Nah, I'm glad you brought SATs up, bro. It's just act like he, this act like you got a fifteen fifty. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, what, that's what I say, yo. Well, why you go to college? Cut man. it out, man. <laughs> why you ain't go to no school? Can't, like y'all was neighborhood basketball players. Got Mason it. tell you he got left back to chill with me. Because <laughs> 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 I was me. Yeah. I stay in That's how cool he was with me. But I say Gil is not lying. Them SATs was no <laughs> joke. So what offers you got? What offers y'all got? I got offers Georgetown, Long Beach. Uh, USC, the whole thing is though, when we lost, like my senior, so my senior year, we went 23 and 0 and lost in the first round. I never went back to school. Like I was that depressed. I went to Albany and started selling weed because my, my baby, I didn't have a baby, my girlfriend at the time, she's a year older than me and she was in Albany. So I just went up there after that and started selling weed and kind of never went to school again. But then I started thinking like, damn, I got to get ready to go to school. But I was good enough for them to put me in a junior college because I didn't graduate. I didn't take the SATs. I just was like, they'll figure it out. Because if, if you good, good, they'll figure it out. Yeah, right? Oh, so y'all wasn't that good. Yeah. 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 They wasn't that good. Yeah, yeah. You, you, <laughs> yeah. You're looking at it. Let me tell you something, Wallo. Let me tell you something. I swear to God, I told Mace this. I said, I didn't really know basketball until I stopped playing basketball because I'm too yeah. emotionally invested in it. You so like when you when you sit there and watch other players, you'll sit there and be like, yo, this is want to fight. This is like dumb. Yo, carrying guns, but you may have done all that, but I don't know what the excuse is today, but in the 90s playing basketball, yeah. you have to know how to fight yeah. and play basketball. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It's a different story because we watch an NBA fight and play basketball. Yeah. So when you stop playing ball, you can sit down and really and look at how basketball is supposed to be played. Like real basketball been play, play, most likely been playing since they was eight or nine years old. Uh-huh. So you're that emotionally invested. So to Gil's point, yes, we all thought we was going to yeah, the NBA. Y'all, 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 did you think you was going to jail? <laughs> no, I didn't think that. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't think that. But you did. I, I knew I was telling was going to happen, but I, right. I didn't think that. But, you know, at the, at the end of the day, I just thought that was the funniest shit I heard. Why? Well, you, you 4'11". I'm a hood legend. Like, you 4'11", with you Tim's about? on. Like, I respect your, 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 your neighborhood basketball game. You got neighbor. Mm-hmm. This is like this. You got neighborhood rappers and you got get the star f- rappers. It's hot in the neighborhood. The song don't translate into the, to, it, it don't translate regional. You ain't in a regional game. You a hater, man. It wasn't like dudes in Jersey, uh, Baltimore, bro, bro, DC on, knew break, about break, your break, game. Hold on, bro. We said, we had Rashid Wallace on here, a motherfucker that I played against in high school, with in high school, made every all-star team, played everywhere. What are you talking about? He said, no, Gil, was you that? You used to smoke Reggie together behind the high school. <laughs> Nigga, that shit don't matter. It don't count. Y'all was smoking Reggie, drinking 40s. Like, come on, man. Like, everybody, everybody we bump into, take Will Parks. He's a football player, his dad, bro. dad, who I played against in high school, said, no, Gil was that dad was a starting at the his dad legendary, was a bitch. Starting yeah. at the legendary Benjamin his, his, Franklin his, his, High School. Yeah. We sent everybody to the pros bro, first. Bro, bro, bro. We did that. His dad yeah. was a I started at the legendary, dad, shout out to legendary coach, Kenny Hamilton, Hall of Fame. Right. I started. But listen, so listen, why nobody family. took the SAT for you? That's what I'm saying. He wasn't I good. Mean, back then, we wasn't, you know, we wasn't really up on that shit like that. We just knew <laughs> we had to take it all. 
Give me the test. <laughs> How many years did you start? Three. Okay, so for, since a sophomore, you started. What are we talking about? Said three. No, I'm talking about you. Three. I'm that nigga. What are we talking oh, no, about? No, no, Max. How many years you started? Four. Ooh. <laughs> well, I, well, I, I didn't go to Franklin and the friends of freshmen. I got kicked out of another school, yeah. and then I went to Franklin. Yeah, but I, I started all four years. Oh. Since a freshman. Can you vouch for that, Mace? I only played with him three years, Paul. Oh. And you was older than him. You was 22 in high school. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> who, was, who was? This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by, of course, New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, life ain't going your way. Uh, shot of New Amsterdam Vodka. Uh, you caught your woman cheating today? <laughs> yeah, you know what to do. <laughs> shot of New Amsterdam Vodka. You thought that check was coming and it didn't come your way? <laughs> Shot of New Amsterdam vodka. <laughs> yeah, it's distilled five times, filtered three times for that clean, crisp finish. Now you can drink it straight up. What else can you do, Gilly? You can drink it on the rocks. What else can you do? You can drink it with juice, shoulder, or you could just make a classic New Amsterdam mule. That's up to you. But when you're out and about at your local liquor store, make sure you scoop some of that New Amsterdam vodka. The official vodka of Barstool Sports. Huh? The official vodka of who? Barstool Sports. Shout out to the New Amsterdam Queen too. Be at home making the cocktails with her girlfriends. They be getting right, feeling good. When I get home, crack some leg, crab leg. You know? <laughs> Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. Get you some. Right. Who was the raw? I'm talking about the had the greatest game that never made it in Harlem. That was di- oh. I'm talking about was a monster like that could have went to the league. Ali Mo. Ali Mo. Ali Mo. A hundred percent. Ali Mo. Ali Mo. A hundred percent. Ali Mo. Where he at? He, he passed died. away. Rest in peace. Yeah, nah. Yeah. You might know from the N one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You don't, yeah. Yeah. don't do him no justice. Yeah. Six seven six eight point guard. Best thing I've seen like probably from Harlem. I would say. Period. Pro or not pro. I'm saying that thing because you know somebody asked me about you know Sham Sham guards out he from yeah, my neighborhood yeah. so they asked us like who would you take Sham or Ali Mo and I was like Sham was a monster too but if yeah. you got a six nine point guard yeah. <laughs> that does everything I'm talking about a two point oh Magic Johnson yeah. like I, I have to say Ali Mo mm. did, did, you know I'm one of them hip hop I want to say Sad Eye from yeah, Philly yeah yeah he was a beast well before I messed my ACL up they was, I was what in the, the- out here. I, seen, I, I seen you on them crazy. Nasty. Man, while I was, you seen it? No, I, I, I nasty. I, I seen Gil. I seen Gil carrying you in them two on two. He's like this. nasty. Yeah. yeah, I had a. I, like, I come in there and foul you, people. I'm saying you. You, you come in and foul. That's yeah. my. That's my you job. Play like Dennis Rodman. And shit. That's, right, that's my <laughs> game. You Greek freak brother. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they, listen, I don't know nothing yeah. about this. I just, I just know that they're not that good. <laughs> yeah. They got a lot of effort. Yeah. They, they not that good. They got a lot of yeah. effort. Yeah. And energy. I heard about that. Yeah. Now, 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 why is it that? Why is it that? Listen, y'all paying y'all three because y'all y'all really like sports almanac dudes. Y'all paying. I'm talking about whole. I'm talking about this powerful out here when it comes to these athletes. I'll be seeing all three of y'all. If any three, any one of y'all say something about an athlete, and y'all be y'all be right with what y'all saying, they get in their feelings. What's going on? Why y'all y'all opinions are stronger than the, the sports network's opinions? What is that about? It's, it's because like when when they're saying it, it mess you up like corporately. But when we said it, it don't just hit corporate. It hit the hood as well. It hit okay. the streets as well. So it's one thing. For somebody to say you're not good, that you never got to see them. But when Gil said, I said, or Killer said, it's like, these are the niggas that this is going to matter when I go back to the block. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it, 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 it knocks out that cool factor a little bit. And not only that, to add on to what Mace is saying, it's like, yo, with us on the music coming up. Yeah. So they like, damn, yeah. damn that, this is what I fuck with. And Look, we got to deal with that as entertainers or rappers too, though. The yeah. album was whack. Yo, yeah. Cam, you ain't better than this. Oh, yeah. or, or Cam, you ain't Hove. Gilly, you ain't Wayne. Yeah. This, the, you, we got to deal with that too. And we got to eat right. that. You boys. ain't Ricky Minaj. You yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. They told you that up the jail. Yeah. You would right. never be Kevin Estelle, you know what I mean? So it hurts. Like, I'll give you a great example. 
So one of these players, I can't remember who, said they they said, "Yo, I, I'm from the era where um, Paul George is the goat." Yeah. So I did an ep- we an episode. We like definitely Paul George is the goat, like of goats of all goats. I'm, so I'm, I said, "Shorty, you smoking? You I don't know what the f- you talk. I like Paul George, but yeah. is he the goat? Nah, he not the goat." Make a long story short, a month later, fast forward, Macy. Uh, Paul George in the casino out in, in Vegas out here. He ran he down. He ran down. Why well, can't be the goat? Why well, can't be the goat? <laughs> what, what's up with that? I can't be the goat. <laughs> so, like oh, you said, well, I don't know. Wait, what I, the kid? What did May say? Mason, I call Cam. You call me because he's a killer. He call Cam. He's a pull-up killer. George said, God. "Why can't be the goat?" Yeah, yeah. I got a question, killer. Um, Paul George said, <laughs> "Why he can't be the goat, killer?" I told him, I said, "You know what?" I say, "All right, you the goat, my." <laughs> n-. Yeah. Then he did some dumb shit. Uh, uh, two weeks later, I said, "I got to take it back." No, he said, "He said some." How you his goat back? He said, "He said something about Larry Bird." Pause. I said, I'm taking it away. <laughs> off, off the, what? The, yeah, I, I, it wasn't. Ba- it wasn't even basketball related. Why I took his goat shit away? It was some yeah. wild shit. He said, I said, just for that, I got to take you from not being the goat no more. I put you as the goat for two weeks. Now you're not the goat. But he had a podcast. It, it's funny too. Shout out to Paul George. Yeah. Now, no, hold on. Fuck that. <laughs> you ask our questions in a row. It's, I got to. I got to yeah. put this out there because I've seen little you know, interview. You know, pop up. Cam came across my page. This episode of Me and I's Worth a Game is brought to you by Molson Coors. We celebrate life's biggest moments with champagne. You know, you pop the bottle, win the championship. But everyday achievements deserve to be celebrated too. Whether it's closing out your to-do list, getting somewhere on time, or just making it through another day, that's a reason to celebrate. So the next time you accomplish something within your everyday, celebrate it with Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. Because that's what living a high life is all about. Miller High Life is the champagne of beers, a quality beer that tastes smooth and it's great tasting quality. I'm talking about break dances on your tongue. It's an iconic champagne like glass bottle with refreshing champagne like tiny bubbles. It's a celebration that's within everyone's reach. Easy to find, sold almost everywhere. I'm talking about so this Miller High Life is everywhere like broken glass. You know, you throw glass on the ground. It'd be everywhere. Yeah, you can find this everywhere. And uh, it doesn't put a strain on your wallet. So uh, welcome to High Life. Go to MillerHighLife.com slash millions to find Miller High Life near you. That's MillerHighLife.com slash million to find Miller High Life near you. Celebrate responsibly 2023 Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Right. You know, and... I that was the moment I realized, like, damn, Cam and Wallow is similar. What you, what you talking about? <laughs> Cam I know was it. talking about, you know, back when he was a youngin, some girl <laughs> swipe a tongue across his ass whoa, like a Visa whoa, Mastercard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know, he said, you know, he said, you know, he was, he said, he was the episode he was talking about, you know, you know, I didn't know Cam was Grim Brown. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't know he was Rim Brown. Rim, right? Remington Steel. Yeah, this is motherfucking. Yeah. We got Rim Brown, Rim Brown, and Remy Butler over here. Yeah. <laughs> you hear me? No, no. a dry by don't count. No, no. Yeah. it was a dry by. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. So she did a dry by on Cam. I don't know. Yo, man. listen, man. While Cam I see you wild. calling the dick doctor the other day, we'll talk about that in a minute. I don't know no, what that no, was. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 I don't know. No. No, no, I don't know what happened. No, I'm, I'm cool. gonna tell you what happened. Yeah, yeah, cool. I did 7,300 days in jail. And then I said, because I squeezed one out of here. No, what happened was, you broke your No, what happened was, when I went to peace, when I went to start off, what happened was, it's crazy. So, yeah. no, so, no, no, so what happened yeah. was, what guy? Yeah. No, and then he told him, he told him, he said, so you can put three inches on? Yeah, no, I seen no, it. Yeah, no, he no, said, no, I'll no, really no, be no, in the I, game. I've seen no, it. No, no. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. <laughs> what happened is, you know, I'm not even going to get into it. You know yeah. what I mean? I can't even say that. Man, no, no what happened now, I'm going to go what happened was. So the other day, and, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm glad you asked me this. So, uh, you know, I moderated a stat. We gave an opportunity to give our, get our own show. Yeah. She wanted to interview Joe Smith's wife. Oh, yeah. And, um... So we was like, God, like me and Mace don't work on that day. But she was saying that she wouldn't do the interview unless 
me and Mace was there, and Mace had obligations, and it was a hot topic that week. So I said, fuck it, I'll go in. And when we got there, she was oiled up, cleavage out, um, <laughs> very seductive, and- uh, You bit. Uh, you made me work on my off day. I'm, go, I'm coming to work. <laughs> so I, I, I commented on what I seen, because you know what girls like to do? They like to, uh, Daisy Dukes, oil yeah. to the thighs, mm -hmm. fat ass, but you're not allowed to comment on it. I'm commenting on any part of skin I see. If you got a nice shoulder, I like your shoulder. Damn, shoulder. Yeah, yeah, if you got a nice thigh, I like your thigh. If I see your cleavage, I'm going to tell you I, I like your cleavage now. If you tell me I'm, not, I'm being inappropriate, I'm sorry. But yeah. if you tell me, oh, thank you, now we're going to go further and see how far we can get. That's mm. what led to the whole shit to what we was talking about, e eating ass. I don't get my ass eaten. But you have. I'm just I, saying. I have. I have. I'm talking about, I walk past, I walk past Los, I walk past Low Hotel and we're about here. Get everything. Clean me out. This when I was 15, I didn't know no yeah. better. She took and, and it was, yeah. Yeah. And it it happened to me when I was young, but it was it was Now don't go young because I said young now. If you was in the hotel room, this was recently. Yes, it was. Get everything. Clean me out. Clean me out. Clean me out. You my girlfriend now. You lying. Let me keep it all the way real. Well, we came in and I mentioned it to Kim. And I said, damn, dog, I ain't know you know you you like rumors. You know? I said, Wallow, love them rumors. Mace turned around fast and like Wallow down with the rumors too. So I know Mace was Mace was back in the day. He had three of them in the attack. Let me get some. Let's be clear before we put this out there. Mace was the first ass eat. I not no regular thing, nigga. I was 15. Right. But I'm sitting there telling you. A bitch Man, will offer you. Eight on no, the weekends, no, no, man. listen. Some bitches will tell you that's what get them off. I tell them get under the balls <laughs> and don't go lower. Oh, so y'all Gucci boys? Oh, yeah, yeah, Gucci man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll Gucci. Go Gucci, Gucci man. man. I'm definitely <laughs> Gucci, definitely. But you can't swipe me. <laughs> yeah, bitch, you with a body shot. What you <laughs> Two fucking doing? <laughs> Fuck you doing out there, that too? Fact. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, did you just? Did you no just boys, wow. sexually you assault me? That's a fact. And they'll bring it back up on you later yeah. not in the, when it's time in the oh. argument. See, see, go to his Gucci, be like, lower. Lower. Why you think you laughed like that? Or like, or now, now, screaming now. Out the whole time. Uh, you like, stop lying All right, go ahead, man. Now. I'm going to let you live. What's it, what, what? Makes it, you know, you come yeah. out when you sold all the records. Did you think, did you feel as though you was the king of New York ever? That's a good question. I'm, you know, I need, because nobody talk about that. Like, you know what I mean? Was you, did you, you just came out there numbers. Did you feel as though you was the king of New York? I think, I think there was a summer I felt like that. There was a summer I felt like that. This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by Straight Talk. A new Straight Talk wireless offering is now available where you could get a Walmart Plus membership included on select Straight Talk Wireless plans for free. Only Straight Talk Wireless gives you a unlimited data, talk, text, plus Walmart Plus memberships included on a select plan. Some of the perks of Walmart Plus select Straight Talk Wireless plans are free delivery from Walmarts, mm, free shipping, no order minimum, mm, Paramount Plus membership, Mm. member prices on fuel so you're gas saving so straight talk wireless is available at walmart and walmart.com so when you walk through walmart everybody can talk for cheap uh, mm, mm, nice price mm, mm. ain't gotta mess your wallet up mm. you need four phones straight talk you know why you be straight talking check on the kids Brr, little jimmy Brr, little ronnie we at what you oh what time you be home okay be safe okay you could be straight talking. And Walmart gonna look out for you. What are we talking about? Straight talk at Walmart. Or Walmart.com. 
Straight talk. Right. Cold came right in. Rolex diamond. Mm-hmm. Fuck you done to that? I was going to bring that Roly here today. Yeah. I should have wore it today. Bro, so you know what I mean? Damn, Hove peeped it, though. Hove. Yeah. Did that mess you up, though, when Hove, when Hove came at you like that? I mean, it, it probably, that was the first time I experienced what we talking about rappers, um, athletes deal with now when, when you diss by somebody you thought was cool. And you're mm-hmm. like, why is this old shit hating on me? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's all I really thought about it. All right, now, now this the whole thing. We, we, in New York, who was like the first dudes to really put the fly n- rap down? That fly n- rap. You know what I mean? That talking about the clothes. And if you wasn't the- from Harlem, get, give it up to him. Because I know y'all skip right over it to go to Harlem. Nah, <laughs> I, I, we keep it real. Like, even when you was talking about the point guards, I'm, now guard just best basketball players. I was thinking, I was going through it last night. I was like, Queens might got the best point guards in New York yeah. City when I was thinking about it. We seen Kenny Smith last night and shit. He's like, damn, Queens, yeah, Queens might have yeah, the best. Mark Jackson, r- Kenny skip Anderson. The, yeah, skip the Malou. Them the, yeah, them Russell. might have the best point guards in New York City. So we ain't, I ain't on that type of time. But for me, if I could remember off the top, there's a lot of this because once you started getting them big ass rope chains and everything else, if I had to say fresh, I'm going to go probably Dougie Fresh. No, I'm, t- I'm talking about rapping. Oh, rap. Fly, the rap. The rap when you're talking Talk- about Talking that, you know, that putting the shit on, talking. You got to you know realize, I mean? like, yo, we we like around the same age. Rollo, you probably the youngest, so yeah. we've been looking. Yeah, all y'all like 51, right? Nah, my Oh, f- damn, my fault, my We all in our 40s. Right. So, including you, Rollo. So, yeah. Damn, I'm 44. So, so the whole thing is like, if you've been listening to rap since you six or seven, it's hard to say who because, you know, um, I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm sitting here trying to answer your question because I'm thinking of clothes and jewelry and was everything it Big else. Big Daddy Kane? Big Daddy Kane was talking Kane. Sh- no, but I'm talking about bringing it up. I ain't talking about that far back. You know, because if you got to do that, you're talking about G-Rap. You're talking about all, you know what I mean? Yeah, but Big Daddy Kane used to talk sh- Yeah, he used to talk. He used to talk. So he was the first. Yeah, that's when you actually yeah, like you can see that, talk. Yeah. I, yeah. That, that's a great answer. Talk but I'm talking about y'all generation. Talking sh- Everybody's talking sh- when we start talking. See, it's different talk Big- Biggie. 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 Mm. Biggie yeah. was the that made fly the rap, but black and ugly as ever. However, yeah, I stay G down to the yeah. socks. Yeah. Rings and watch filled with rocks. Hit my jam knocks and your mission beat. Man, it was like, you wanted to go get <laughs> yeah. a Gucci sweater. I, I did. I did yeah. too. I'm just saying. A lot of us can afford it. But, 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 but it, seemed like, it seemed like it went to another level. When the, when it sounds like you got somebody in mind, Wallow. Yeah. It sounds like you no, got, no, no, you no, got no, somebody in mind. Like, no, no, no. African Ben Bottle. No. So you trying to play me. No, no, no. You know what? You know what? I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this about Mace, right? Mace was talking that shit on a whole different level. Like when, it, you know, when Get That Money Right came out, them Desert Storm mixtapes, it was a different, it was a different lyrical shit going on. You know, Biggie, Biggie was always that. We got it. Can't take it from Biggie. But... Tell when, when you, when you talk, the truth. No, no, no. When you talking that <laughs> shit, it was certain shit that you can't talk about because you can't fit and you can't wear it. Mm-hmm. Biggie is that dude. But he couldn't talk. Like, Mace was talking that he shit. Like, was when, talking. Like, when Get That Money Right, he was talking. What did talk, he, he say? He said, when you a good fella, you get cheddar for your work. Rock Versace leather shirts. When you fuck a girl that hurt, I'm going to cruise around the world with a mean golden girl. <laughs> Dough full of pearls, drinking mo till she earl. Mm-hmm. I need a hundred hoes because I got a ton of those that live up on bungalows with sexy underclothes. Lil' Mace, look at Lil' Mace. This was that shit. This was that shit. How you do that shit? Do 20 years in prison. That was his favorite rap. That was his favorite rap. Sexually assaulted you, chased you around the fucking world. Now listen, now listen. Was like, Give you money, <laughs> that was his shit. No, no, no. But, 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 but hold up, hold up, cuz, yeah. hold up, cuz. It was a lyrical execution of that shit. You know what I mean? Um, and it was like the beats and all that. It was a different level of fly to talk. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm saying. Like even, even like when you look at it now, you don't see it too much. You might hear throw a little gear in there. But I'm talking about that fly talk where it's like. I'm get, it was like this. I'm getting money. Man. I put that shit on. I fuck your bitch. And if we go through a problem about something, I'm going to get my worker to shoot you. I ain't going to shoot you because I get money. I'm not no shoot. I'm a money getter. Mm-hmm. That was the rap lingo. And the structure of it is that the shooter is the worker. Mm-hmm. You, you know, so it was just like this whole live boss rap shit. And it was like the cadence of it. It was crazy. 
And it was like, it was just a different yeah. time, man. And it was like, the mixtapes. Man, feel some way of way about you, No, no, man. Mace was that dude. Man, listen, 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 my, listen. Oh, <laughs> shut up. I want your rap. I put you in a rap game. Keep it real. I took you to the studio. I was your listen. first manager. Listen. I still got won't your contract. Why don't you tell us why you really remember that shit? No, no. It was won three prison talent shoes for you. What are you talking about? That's line. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, <laughs> Mace didn't even remember that. No, no, no. You're like, damn, this <laughs> is good. I, I, I'm keeping on it. When you spit, I was like, yeah, that was that. Sh- was that? Sh- yeah. Nah, I like, told you when we the mixtapes, the mixtapes was no, all like, Mace would used to, used to rhyme hard, but then when the deal came in and the money came in, <laughs> he switched it up. <laughs> nah, it's still murder too, but that, <laughs> it them, it up. That, my favorite. I still use one of Mace lines from the mixtapes with certain. When I move, when I say move, let's go or get left, yo. Yeah, like it was them yeah, type that was, of that was the lyrics. Yeah, exactly, and, and it was the production, and you know, Kiss and all them, all them was on there, just destroyed, just bodying it, and it was this, this New York sound that was coming out that was different, and it was an excitement to it because everybody was on the mixtape. Yo, you get the mixtape, you get that Desert Storm, the, the DJs, and it was like, damn. They was just, X was on shit. DMX, rest in peace to him. Oh, y'all asked him a question too. Who was better, DMX or Tupac? Mm. I ain't got time for that shit, man. No. I'm like, y'all about the internet going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say what you want to say. Crazy. I, me personally, I seen DMX. I didn't really get to see. I'm talking about on tour with DMX. I'm in yeah. the studio with DMX. See, I actually got to see niggas go lose their mind about yeah. DMX. I know niggas love Tupac, but I didn't get to see him on tour and do anything else. Yeah. So for me, it's going to be. DMX because I actually got to be a part of or see from when he was just in the tenement rapping to be selling 10, 20, however many millions of records he sold. I seen the whole process. What about you, Mace? Oh, man. That, to me, I would I would definitely have to say DMX because, and not just East, West, like when you saw the energy pause that this that DMX gave, it's like just... You could just stop one lyric that he would be saying in a whole concert and the whole arena would say it. Like, I think a lot of times because you learn the flaws of n****, you forget how great n****** really were. Like, DMX was one of those, like, special, special talents. Yes, and, he was. And when I, when I first heard DMX in the studio, I was just like, yo, this n- is... It's just different. Like, we was in the studio. That's how he ended up on my album on, like, two records. And then from there, he went and did his deal and all of that stuff. But I was like, yo, this is crazy. Now, what about Pac you? Was, Pac was phenomenal, too. I can't take nothing away from yeah. Pac. But DMX, I think DMX had more than <coughs> Pac. I'm going to go on the record and say that. He had more than Pac because DMX was able to give you um just, just a different, he just touched in a different way than Pac did. You know, I was more of a Tupac dude. You I knew know. you was going to say But that. you said DMX was the best performer you ever seen ever in seen life. Ever seen in my life. Yeah. DMX, That's what I mean. DMX was the best performer I ever seen in my f***ing life. When that f- came out at that f***ing spectrum and he walked on that f***ing stage, that sh- I'm talking about that sh- damn near it was, it was about to fall from the Raptors in that Man, that was one of the greatest performances I've yeah, ever seen in my life. Before DMX come on the stage, he be backstage growling on the mic and the crowd going crazy. You just hear the nigga growling. Then you hear all that shit. You like the whole crowd before he walk out yeah. is losing their mind it came just off one, that two, one, two, one, yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. That was so X ridiculous. was definitely the better rapper, and Pac was probably the better artist. Just I don't, I don't know out. because I don't know who was the better rapper. I know they both had great songs. I know they both was a, a way above average rappers. They was mm-hmm. they was top tier. You know what I mean? Pop gave you a certain type of feeling in one way, and DMX gave you a certain type of feeling in another way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But um, that's a great debate, though. Yeah. I love both of them. Rest in peace to both of them. They were both truly great artists. This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by Molson Coors. We celebrate life's biggest moments with champagne, but everyday achievements deserve to be celebrated too. Whether it's closing out your to-do list, getting somewhere on time, or just waking up. Because see, just waking up is the true win. 
You know what I mean? There's always a reason to celebrate. So the next time you accomplish something within your everyday, celebrate it with Miller High Life, the champagne of beers, because what's living, the high life is all about. Miller High Life is the champagne of beers, a quality beer that's smooth and great tasting. In an iconic champagne-like glass bottle with refreshing champagne-like tiny bubbles is a celebration that's within everyone's reach. Easy to find, sold almost everywhere. And I mean, so that mean it's sold everywhere. It's everywhere, like broken glass. It's everywhere. And it doesn't put a strain on your wallet, so it's very reasonable price. So you get great tasting beer for a very reasonable price. Welcome to the High Life. Go to MillerHighLife.com slash million to find Miller High Life near you. Celebrate responsibly. 2023 Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yes. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Straight Talk. A new Straight Talk wireless offering is now available where you can get Walmart Plus membership included on select Straight Talk wireless plans for free. Only Straight Talk wireless gives you unlimited data talk and text plus walmart plus membership included select plans for free some of the perks walmart plus select straight talk wireless plans are free delivery from walmart stores free shipping no order minimum paramount plus memberships and member prices on fuel that's gas saving so straight talk wireless is available at walmart and walmart.com so when you out and about at walmart make sure you straight talk gonna get you on point gonna get the whole house straight talking everybody busting it up unlimited data unlimited text plus a walmart plus membership and i'm saying this one more time you get free delivery no order minimum you get members price on fuel like come on what we talking about man straight talk so make sure y'all go to Straight Talk Wireless is available at Walmart and Walmart.com. Let's go. Now, all of y'all put projects out, right? The fuck out of here. We ain't going up with this. No, no, I ain't, I ain't mean to say Gil. Gil was a <laughs> white bum ass rapper. He was a fail rapper. <laughs> Cash money reject. That's a different story. Um, That's cool. Go ahead and take your shots, baby. No, but it's like I you, got you. When you think about Harlem in New York, it was like, man, it was just, it was just this sound, man. Children of the Corn, y'all had all these movements. McGruff from Harlem, ain't he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. McGruff, who was the greatest Harlem rapper of all time? Mm. Don't do that to them. I like got that. to. Don't do that to them like that. Change the question up. No, man, man stop being Don't do that to them niggas serious. like that. <laughs> Don't do that to them like that. Who was the greatest Harlem rapper of all time? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a good question. You talking about everybody in their prime? We talking about everybody. Everybody you, in their prime. Yeah. All right. This is um. Let me see. Don't be humble. They definitely wouldn't like my list. Say it. Who you, who you think, Killer? Who are you? Just give me your top five. Who's number? But I need the top five to be I'm one, a, I, two, yeah. Then three, we can get to that. Four, but first, we five. gotta agree on the now, five. No, we just name it. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's just about who you like. If you actually my favorite rapper from Harlem, would say Mace. I'm just being stripping down. You got listen. You got Kumo D. You got Rob Bass. You got Dougie Fresh. You got the ASAP News. You got Dipset. Who else are you going to name from Harlem? I'm just saying. It isn't like Brooklyn or Queens where you're going to name 75 rappers. It's probably 12 of us, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Loon, too. You got Loon. ASAP. I just yeah. I said the ASAP. Big L. Big L, of course. Big, Big L, L was definitely. Was Absolutely. But see, it's like Big L, and that's my man. We from the same block. That's my dude. He only got to do, like, it was, he didn't have a long time to do what he right. could really potentially do. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He only had one album. Right. So when I'm thinking about the list, it may be 10 to 12 people. I think Big L was better than anybody in Harlem. That's a great no, point. No, no, no. The reason I'm going to say that is because he was so advanced when he died. If he he get a deal, he was, I'm talking about a real joint, he was out of there. Yeah. Like, think about it. Think about the advancement of the way he was breaking that shit down, his wordplay. You know See, what I mean? The thing about his big, attitude. The thing about Big L is yeah, that, was that I, I feel like, like, yeah, he had me. 
No, I'm just saying. No, no, no he, he did. He, that, <laughs> I'm not going to say that. I know he's not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not the one. He's he like, 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 he like Big L better after he died. Hmm. My opinion, yeah. they start, oh, he's a legend, this, that, third, and he was nice before he died. You gotta realize him and Nas is on the same label at the same time, mm -hmm. Columbia Records. So you got Nas and Big L coming out at the same time, and you kind of seeing who elevated more. So mm -hmm. it wasn't like he wasn't on a major record label or he didn't have an opportunity. It was kind of, you was- Wasn't, he, boy, was wasn't he ready to give a Rockefeller? Something yeah. like that, that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying, like mm -hmm. get that extra push, that's yeah. all. And listen, I'm not, I'm not dissing out because that's my boy, very lyrically talented. Mm -hmm. I just don't think he had enough time. But I let me say who he's going to say. Mace, 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 yeah, no, it's, it's I will tell you, man, Big L ain't their favorite rapper because it sounds good to say if you from home. It sounds, you know, like a lot of times, Die and you just you put twenty on pump ten. You know what I'm saying? Okay, shit. <laughs> 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 really is. Come on, like no, because this is what I try to explain to people, and I'm glad Killer said it because it's like L was alive when I was there, so yeah. he got to see me. He, I mean, he put he put. He, he did his whole album. He put everybody on that he put on. I was like the person that he put on the record. So I always had that chip on my shoulder. Uh -huh. Like, oh, these niggas left me off the record. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I was happy because Killer went crazy. And he did American Dream. Yeah, he did. But when he did Eight is Enough, I said, yo, you pick Eight. <laughs> <laughs> you know how yeah, I think yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, definitely yeah. feeling away. I'm yeah, like, that's a fact. oh, this shit put all these <laughs> on here and he ain't put me on there. Yeah. So I, I really, I held that forever. Yeah. It was, it was, so I, when I got my shot, I was just like, yeah, I got to I gotta be better than these. Huh. You know who I want to give a shout out to? Who? I would give a shout out to me, sister, Baby Stace. And I'm going to tell you why. Hold on, hold on. Let's that, get that list. I was just about to say yeah, what you meant. Let's get to that list. I was just about to say what you meant. Let's get to that list. I want to know who the fucking top rapper in the hall is. Who's number one? The top rappers, I definitely. No, the top rapper. Let's go start with number one. Do we go to number two? I would go with me. I would go with me. Man. I agree with Cam. You know what I'm saying? That's my thing. I would agree with that. I'm going to get my Nah, I ain't going to go against anything. Who two? Um, I would go Killer in second. Mm -hmm. Who three? Um, this is this is Don't interesting. Don't you dare drop that nigga ASAP Rocky. No, 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 no goddamn no. three. I think it's, it's that the city never got to hear. No, but ASAP took it to the world. No, I, it's other niggas like it's other niggas. Now, would you say, say the names? You would you write. say um? Would you say Trooper J was better than L? If he would have got his shot, it's so it's, it's that was crazy. Hold on, 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 time out. Mm -hmm. You just going? ASAP took it to the world. Nah, we gonna, we, gonna, to we gonna get to that. We gonna get to that. All right, but go ahead. You talking about that? What, now, what record ASAP ain't put you on? <laughs> oh. you no, know, he's saying that's why you mad at ASAP because he ain't put you <laughs> on the record. ASAP, right? He's a legend. You know, you basically took no good. Oh, no, you said rappers. You said rappers. You, said, you look, didn't say like fashion. Yeah, I'm just about to you say that. Rappers, and I'm about right? to say, do you know the ASAP? What's the ASAP lyric? I'm not saying you don't know. I'm asking you to sing it. Just like you sung May shit. You know? There's a lot of ASAP. I got ASAP on my, on my playlist. I just asked you to do something. Like, that's it. <laughs> Shout out to ASAP. That's what I'm trying Rocky. to explain to you. Like, he's you good at- You say you can't live forever. I, I, I ain't got to keep going. I, Wait, but I'm just saying, bro, like, that's shut up, man. That's shut up, man. He was talking to you. He wasn't talking to me. Yeah, I would put ASAP. And I'm not saying that he ain't good. I'm just saying I would like to join. Okay, but go ahead. 
We sit so you government go. bands. Mm-hmm. Call us double That's twins. new. You posing Don't know that. Don't know that government name. Mm-hmm. Just know this name we share. Don't do That's no hoes, no stare. Don't do no pics, no share. And I so bright like, <laughs> and I shine so bright <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, I know so you know ASAP. ASAP. Yeah, so as it, I would go me, Killer. ASAP. Tr- I don't know, Trooper J. Hold on, man. Who know Trooper J? Shout out to I'm Trooper just, J. I'm just... What Trooper you, J? You asked us because right, you wanted no, no, Harlem no, no, no. Intel, okay, that's right? That's Harlem Intel. You right, want dude. Harlem Intel, right. right? Do we not talking about niggas like, that had a cool verse. We talking about niggas who was lyrically gifted. Okay, so it's so Mace, it, Killer, yeah, Trooper, Trooper J. J. Trooper J. Um, Big I would L. have to go Big L. And then... um, Mike Buggy. Damn, just left Jules Santana off that. All right, you know, I forgot. Jules, Jules would be in that list. I'm telling him off for Mace. Huh? No, I'm telling him off for Mace because he went trooping with it. reason I said this is not my list. This is his list. Yeah. What's the name? What I'm saying is that when he brought up Trooper J, I'm thinking that who's in that era who didn't get a chance. It's dumb, nice. You didn't get a chance. That was incredible. Right. Like, you hear this and you like, this they ain't get on. You like, right. damn. He ain't never get a shot. Right. I don't know where he's at, but he right. was like, he was. And who's your list? I'm number one. I just said Mace, my favorite rapper. Oh, okay. I say he's the best rapper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah. He's like like my that. favorite rapper. Okay. Yeah. So your list is killer. Yeah. Yeah. He's second. Yeah. 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 I love it. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. That's why, that's why I kept myself first. I knew he was gonna say that. You know what I mean? Cause that's what I say. If I do a Philly list, I'm saying me then first. I would, I would put Joel's third, and then I I put Big L fourth. It's like, like Jew, like it's just that Big L didn't get enough time, man. Like you know, I think he a lot of the, he like he went back to you back. You put Jewel before Big L. So he had more time. Jewel, like Jewel's yeah. is on two hundred mixtapes. He got yeah. bangers. Like like no, nothing, I'm not gonna lie. When I first heard Jewel's rap, I was like, yo, because at that time I wasn't speaking to Killer, so I was <laughs> like, yo, it's they got one. Yeah, like that. Nigga. I, like Jewel's could have really been like he could have been on he could have been Hope level. Mm. Real, now, real talk, he had it. And he yeah. had it at a young age. He like he could have been the leader of everything that's going on yeah. outside right now. He could have been all these young father, uncle, whatever you want to call it. Like, that's how much... Because the, the chicks liked him. He yeah. could rap. He was fly. He had every element that you yeah. needed to be that. Yeah, n- yeah, he had the real wittiness to yeah. be like one of those special rappers. Right, exactly. We stopped him. You was there, I wasn't. Well... To be, and I'm gonna be totally honest with you, to me, Jewel's, I wouldn't say poor work ethic, but I'm just not sure why. Jewel's is sitting there with 300 songs on his hard drive and won't put it out. If you follow Jewel's now on his Instagram, I haven't spoke to Jewel's in a while, but he'll tell you next month, so and so is coming out. Next month, so and so is coming out. So next month, so and so, it doesn't come out. If you think about it, he wanted to get out his deal with me. Uh, I, he's like, I'm not putting out no music till I get out the deal with Cam and then I'll put my album out. And he bought the deal since 2008. So I know put little mixtapes out here and there, but he hasn't put out like a real project. So I'm not gonna say he doesn't have great work ethic. I don't know what it is once he got the songs done, why they don't come out. I speak to his brother all the time. Most and, artists do that. And they and he's sitting there with 800 songs in the hard drive. So I have no idea, but once he wanted to get out his deal with me, I made it happen and I just decided we still brothers and still cool, but I have nothing to do with as far as your music career. That's since 2008. Everything but him. When it, when it, when we was working, look, we used to have to lock Jewels in the house, straight up and down. When he, when he's 15, 16, you don't want to go to school. You ain't going outside. You come with us to the club. Yo, you did them song. All them songs that you hear, the bangers, was forced. Yo, write the song, my nigga. Write the song. But it got to a point where I can't treat you like you you're a grown man now. I can't yell at you. Yeah. I can't scream at you. All them hits. Uh, Gangsta music, Santana's town, mm-hmm. all the hot sh- Hey Ma was when we about to walk out to the club. We had crib in Chicago, and he'd be like, "Come on!" I'd be like, "Did the 16 He'd be like, "Uh, da da da." I said, "We'll bring you a bitch back. You're not coming out until you finish the f- 
the song. You're not going straight like that. He'll tell you, and, and, and you're not coming out. We'll bring your hoe back, and if you you finish the sixteen, we'll let you have her. Yeah, Jewels was definitely and, top and, five, and that's how the songs came about. So when we start working together. I'm not saying the work I think I put, but for some reason it's not translating into the public hearing it. Like I said, you go to this page now, every month he's saying something's coming out, something coming out. And the reason I know this because I'm waiting, I'm a fan. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sitting there saying, when is, well, when's the shit coming out? Because I would like to hear it. Yeah. But it just doesn't come out for us. So I would put him a, a head of Big L, definitely. And then who's five? I'm gonna go Trooper J. I'm gonna go Trooper yeah, J. Like Trooper J. Oh, Trooper J. Trooper J. Trooper J. Trooper J. Trooper J. Trooper J. Y'all ain't got an old Trooper J tape or nothing. I need to hear this. Yeah, this Trooper man. J was nasty, man. Trooper J was the he. Trooper J he was, was the one. See, was, that's what they don't want to tell us. Trooper J was the, he used to barbecue, bake the ass. Yeah, cook it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, he was, yeah. He was, he was like, the one that made us get my he made shit out of that. I'm gonna keep it 100. I wasn't better than Trooper J. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take Trooper J off that list, honestly. And he's number six for me. I'm gonna Mike put, Boogie. No, I'm gonna put Gruff at five. Yeah, but Gruff. Gruff, Gruff but that, so yeah. if Trooper J was the one barbecue bacon, y'all. Why y'all keep pushing Trooper J Eddie? They wouldn't. We really couldn't. I really couldn't find him. Kill a nice. What you mean you couldn't find him? They bring Killer to Trooper J. Oh, Trooper J was the one kill out there. Yeah, Trooper J was the one kill out there. Yeah, Trooper J was the one Trooper J was the one kill out Trooper J kill out there. Nah, no, but Mace said he couldn't find him. You hear this? Mace was running from Trooper J like a mother. Def no, he was definitely like when I got my shot. He was definitely somebody I would have wanted to bring to the table. I couldn't find him. Super in the, J he had was in DMX the vibes, but more lyrical. But yeah. that type of energy. Yeah. energy. He was DMX vibe with with our kind of rap. Right, mm. and I, and the reason I, I I put him six after Gruff is because I rap with Gruff every day. Gruff from my block, yeah. and me Gruff and Big Gruff. L from the same block. But Super J is a you see twice a year. When you see him, like yeah, let's spit something. And you're like, oh, you still got Thousand that shit. Bucks. Yeah, like, damn, you still got that shit. But yeah. we got our opportunity first. So, Mace, like he said, he probably was. We was looking for niggas like yeah. that to go. Yeah, we got the chance. Let's bring these niggas in. But we, they wasn't you know, from our hood. Some was locked up. Some was on a run. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it was nice. Yeah, but I, I would have to put Trooper J behind Gruff just because I used to just spar freestyle-wise with yeah, Gruff, so Gruff two, three times a week. Jewels. Yeah. Um, L, killer, me. It is what it is. Now taking a f off. Now, now I got to give a shout out to Baby Stace because Baby Stace is the one that called that called Mason said, "Man, what? Wallowing them, man? What happened, man? They got they got five year old <laughs> on there. Go, man, Wallow. That's that was my like, man. We I thought they f with you, man. And then May said, "Yo, man." I ain't getting nobody five thousand dollars. I got I gotta come up there. Yeah. And all this come out of that. Yeah. All because baby states wanted to put a check in or haul them checking on on me. She put a okay. check in on you, you was bitching I mean, too. I yeah. mean she she like a and, then, and then and then you know what's crazy though? When I see y'all, what I, what was so good about it is that a conversation changed everything. One conversation, bro. Like y'all real live brothers, man. When Mace got up there and said, Man, I used to wear cam clothes, that was my that was like the it, it showed it showed a brother missing a brother and a brother just being real when nobody is in between. Sometimes people come between stuff yeah. and it'd be conversations because because it'd be remixes. You know, I tell Gil something about Cam. Gil to put his own, not saying him particularly, people put their own Swiss twist on stuff based off of how they hate and how they want to, yeah, because what's the name? Oh man, I ain't even gonna tell you. Yeah. They be remixing, so y'all getting all these different stories. And it's once the conversation had y'all jumping, and now look at y'all, y'all, y'all turning the game up. You see what I'm saying? But but we never get a chance to have this in the hood. Luckily, y'all ain't go to the beef where it got real crazy, and the pistols got you know what I mean. But now look at y'all, y'all back on some brotherhood. Y'all winning, y'all raking in the dough. You now, first of all, we want to say I want to say thank you guys for yeah. even because to be honest, without you guys' platform, we may not even still maybe not even speaking. Yeah. So first of all, I want to just. Uh, Thank you guys, because be honest with you, we don't even, I don't do interviews. I told niggas I, I do mm -hmm. I do a million dollar worth of game and I do drink champs. I don't do any other interviews unless you pay me. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, because how many times you're going to say the same story? You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's just the way I think. But thank you guys for even, you know, I, can, I didn't know it left from States, but yeah. after hearing Mace talk, I'm like, damn, this my nigga be. So 
I got to go on. I was supposed to come on your show anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, this is a perfect. It worked out. The timing was great. So, mm -hmm. but thank you guys for even giving us the opportunity because we got somebody in common. Um, Chanel, one, she's one of my publicists. Yeah, yeah. And she, and she, my people. Yeah. So Chanel, she, we and, no, we that's who we was in a meeting with before we had um came back in. Here. And she's like, yo, you know, I work with Gilly all the time. Is it true? And I'm like, what? What are you, what are you talking about? She's like, Gilly always talking about none of that shit would be. Going on if it wasn't for, for our platform, them motherfuckers wouldn't be getting this money and be speaking and nothing if it wasn't for us. We the ones who got them motherfuckers back together. I was like, yeah, he's right. Yeah, he's yeah, right. Yeah, I yeah, said, yeah, yeah. he's right. <laughs> she you know, definitely told me. I that. told her that on said, no, that's how they got back together. Like, no, yeah. they ain't. Yeah, that's because, a fact. But look, the, the beauty in it is that we could show the young that a lot of times don't be that deep, man. Nope. Yeah. And right. we stronger together. Right. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That be the that's the beauty in it. Showing motherfuckers know we stronger together. Like you gotta understand, Cam was just doing what he was doing to get money. Mace was just doing what he was doing to get money. Just had a conversation, and then next to you know, millions of dollars come out of that. Yeah. Mm. And, and y'all think and, about that. That was a beautiful day for millions all. Millions of dollars come out of that. Mm. Now these is my. Brian Gumbo and Muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Killing shit out there. Yeah. Yeah. And, it's like, and it's like just just understanding like it don't cause nothing to help to bring people together or give them information. Mm -hmm. You know, Cam called, Mace called, I said, get, put, get on the phone. This is how you do this shit. Mm -hmm. This the money. This is how we get. And they went and got the bag. They yeah. went and got the bag. Yes, one, they did. One thing about it as well is like, because I always got offers and Nothing, to, of course, to do with Mace, but I'm just saying, I always got offers to do podcasts and be a part of kind. And I'm like, I don't really know about that. Shit. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to do that. But I didn't know I like sports. But watching you two um, do what you guys did, I don't, I don't really, like, I, don't, I won't name names, but I don't really fuck with niggas like that. Mm -hmm. and, you know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, yeah. I don't like it. The niggas who supposed to be, I don't fuck with niggas. So when I seen y'all podcast, I'm like, yo, I, I fuck with. Uh, million dollars worth yeah. of game in Gilly and Wild. I'm sure I could sit there and watch them because I listen to them in the car because they're on the same type of time I'm on. Right. Yeah. So I was like, that's dope. But then I said, yo, how's they doing? They said, oh, let me eat. And I was like, oh, they, it's money like that? <laughs> I said, you really need to get money like that? I was like, yeah. Because y'all niggas don't really, if you, if you, especially if they don't follow you guys on Instagram, you guys don't wear a bunch of jewelry. Y'all not a bunch of flashy. Nah. Y'all buy them cars. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all definitely get them calls. So I'm like, um, let me make a couple phone calls, see what the fuck going on in this space. So mm -hmm. you called me and I said, listen. Yeah, absolutely. I, I started definitely you guys first, and then I called a few. Yeah. But more of the story is just saying thank you guys for being the niggas that you are and making a nigga like me realize, like, yo, they fing with some real niggas still right now. So right. that's what's up. Yeah, a, that's what's a, up. And a, I, I listen, man, and the realness in this shit is that. I, we really look at like brothers. So mm -hmm. anytime you need us for any information, anything, it's our duty to be like, oh, no, no, do this. Mm -hmm. No, do that. No, no, you want to do this so that this can happen. If we don't do that, we really some nut ass yeah. Yeah. That's just yeah. the reality of it. We don't never block nobody, anybody mm -hmm. that we can help in this space because it's like, bro, it's enough money out here for everybody. Right. Cause we talk, I'm not in competition with because my check is already signed. That's guaranteed money. That's going to the bank. Mm -hmm. So why y'all can't get some money? Right. The why they money. can't get some money? Why they can't? If you got a hot product that people like, what's the issue? Right. The the Jews don't do that. Yeah. Right. The Arabs don't do that. Yeah, they promote them. They like no. You need a connect. Hold on. Let me make a phone call for you. Mm -hmm. So. It's time for us to be like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? By the way, man, make sure y'all get the No, 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 no. I was going to do my own commercial. One of our homies. I'm not going to put nobody out there. I'm not going to put nobody out there. I'm about to do my own commercial. One of our homies came in the refrigerator in the studio. What? Grabbed that horsepower. Was like, damn, who this? I said, that's Cam stuff. He took it. <laughs> he took like two of them. So don't say nothing. We don't say nothing. <laughs> so he doubled back. He's like, yo, man, ain't nobody. What's up with... I said, dang, you already took two of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he fits a strip car. He's a strip club but, warrior. Yeah. Starts being a 
the bitch like never before, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm, I'm, oh, this, I'm yeah. definitely like the hair club for men. I'm not just the president, I'm a client. <laughs> Make sure you go to pink horsepower.net. You have the best time of your life, baby. <laughs> your woman will be happy. She won't leave you. Listen, man. And I don't know how old your audience is, but Roxanne Shantae, she because she was out when I was a little, yeah, little, little a legend. Yeah. She walked up to me. We did Rock the Bells a couple years ago. She said, Cam. Grabbed that. She said, yo, Cam. First of all, y'all know we had a nice ass crib when the <laughs> bell went like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she'd like be like, crazy. bang. This is your wow, bang, bang, bang. But I, 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 I seen that Rock the Bells. She said, Cam. That pink horsepower saved my marriage. What? Rock she messed with her. I ain't gonna say who she messed with. I, oh, I, she... I don't know. I know she... She messed with. Who she messed with, man? Do she mess with Big Horse? What's the boy? Is her husband? I, I don't know. Uh, I think he's. I'm, 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 I'm in the studio. Big Horse was Lil Pony. He was at the studio. He was at the studio. Big Horse was Lil Pony till he got some of that horse. I'm saying if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. In fact, she definitely told me, yo, that shit saved my marriage. So. If you're having trouble at home, <laughs> pink hyphen horsepower.net. Save your marriage. Now, now some people was so mad. You never took none? No, I'm natural. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I'm now, natural. Now, if some people was mad at y'all because some flyers came out that y'all was going on tour. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, it's, it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. So, like, what's going on? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, Alex, AG, uh, Sean G, Live Nation, like, what's up with this tour? Like, what's going on? Like, we, like, well, like what happened was, this, this is this is kind of it's kind of a funny story to be honest with you. <laughs> no, the reason why what funny, makes do, man. No, no, the reason is funny because this no, this is my side. So I know that it's, it was he ain't do nothing wrong. It was solely and I got thrown on the bus. I got thrown on the bus is a promoter named Antonio from Virginia who was putting this tour together. I don't know if he was saying he was he was on the hook for a lot of uh, the arenas they were doing. So I don't know if he was like in the sales or he wasn't getting the money he's supposed to get. More of the story is he put it together and it didn't uh, pan out the way it's supposed to go. A lot of people be like, because they know Mesa leave. So a lot of people hit me like, yo, this is Mace. I knew it wouldn't last, this, that, and the third. I'm like, nah, it wasn't, this wasn't Mace. Or whatever, so I gotta go back because I'm putting this tour together with this. Thing. I don't know, I'm not putting tours together, I just know. So I gotta go back to Mason tell him this, this shit ain't go through. Hey, oh, hey, Sean G. What's up? Sean, this, I, I, got, I got Mace and I got Cam around right here, right now. And this is Sean G, president of Live Nation Urban. Mm -hmm. I said, what's up with the tour with them? I would, I would put them on tour tomorrow. All right, so listen. Uh, oh, hey, nigga, hey, shut hey, up. Hey, I got it from me. Oh, no. Get off, get off the I got this. All right, we're going to get this. Show. All right, I got that. <laughs> now, 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 what about, what about, what about Roots Picnic next year? I'm already, I was searching around to see who book him. I used to book Mace directly with, with himself, but somebody told me calendar at UGA book Cam. I've been searching around because I want to do the, I want to do the, uh, the podcast live at Roots Picnic, and I want to potentially put a set together, a music set together with both of them. So. Now, Sean. You, 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 we what Philly up? got a socket to my man's pocket like a rocket. There, there you go. We need to talk about percentage. Hold up, shut up, up, shut up. I got that. Dude, I already did it in the back end. Shut up. Right. That's why I'm still your manager. Now, now I'm gonna, listen, I, I'm going to put you on text with the, with the fellas. Listen, a tour, they, you know. Get on percentage. You know what I mean? So I'm going to put you on text <laughs> and y'all go from there. All right? Perfect. Mm. Yo, do I do do I need to deal with y'all directly? Because you know, out in the street, everyone says different people represent y'all. Oh no, I'm putting you in the. I'm putting you do text with Cam and Mace. Nobody else. I don't know nothing about no representation. Right, right, right. That's all. I and me, to make sure I them, represent them. I, I represent you know them too. That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but I'm gonna put you directly on it. All right, Sean. Bet, let's do it. All right, bet. Now look, Wallo, that was dope, and I thank you, oh, thank yeah, both thank you guys. You gonna stop me? Just no, for all of us, we all no, need no, together. No, no, I'm saying is this. <laughs> No, I'm just playing. I they make these same nobody. phone calls. You post them. And Mace says, Cam. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, How much Cam? money do they get? I'm not going to say on TV, this man don't be moving. I don't no. I don't know in between the time. I just talked to him. No, I just had to talk. Listen, listen, bro. I'm talk. telling you, I'll be with this six nigga. days a week. I don't know what type of money was made in between the time he wasn't speaking. But this 
Don't the conversation which you have with him here and he tell you <laughs> we could do it. That's not the conversation. <laughs> the conversation. You know, it's, it's, it's a separate conversation. <laughs> we had the cover of Rolling Stone the other day. He said, if I can't approve the photos, then the cover can't come out. It's like he it, it move a little different. So okay. it's, it's a whole this different boy, conversation. This this boy Mace, man. I was murdered. P. Diddy named me pretty. Look yeah. at you was little meth blowing some pepper. I know you. He was in prison winning all the talent shows. He knew how you boy so Mace said, from 20-something years I ago. I don't want you to think Cole. this can't happen, but I just want you to know. Mace, just tell me a number. No, it, happen, it happens. I'm going to get you a number. I'm Give me a number. I'm going to go get it. I guarantee yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Anything me and Cam doing together should be a real moment. So if it's a real moment... It's a real check. It's not. Oh, yeah, I dig it. It's not a regular check. You know what I'm saying? Because I could get a regular check by myself. Yes, he can get a regular check on by itself. So even when we came together to do what we're doing now, it was the same way. Cam had one number in his mind. I had a, a multiple number in my mind. Right, Cam? This true. And we was able to. That's get what makes that. you. That's what makes you, you know win. Why? Though. That's, that's why y'all win. No, that's what makes us strong. No, no it's, a, it's yeah. an actual fact. Because when I'm calling around. If, if we talk strictly like this, yeah. the sports show, when I'm calling around, I'm calling y'all. I'm calling, I call Wilo and got a number. Yeah. What's a re, what's an outrageous number? You told me the number. I'm not going to say it on here or mm -hmm. whatever. So I go back, Mace, I was like, yo, we dealing with Rich Kleiman, you know, Kevin Durant. Did and I tell you a real number, though? You tell it, us it, it, it wasn't nowhere close to what we got. But I know, I, but no, I told you saying, a number. No, you what I'm saying is, if I'm, the more reason I'm bringing this up is because I'm saying is this. I'm talking to people in the space that's getting this telling yeah. us, uh -huh. yo, this is what's realistic. This uh -huh. is what's realistic. This is what's realistic. So when I go back and tell Mace, Mace is like, well, we got that already. And uh -huh. I'm like, yeah, that's true. But uh -huh. they're telling us they're not giving to us like that. But to Mace's credit, he's absolutely right. He yeah. stood tall on a number and he's like, <laughs> well, we're not going to take this number because the money that they're offering in this space, we already have. And the reason he's bringing that up to you guys right now is to give you guys basically to tell y'all this might not happen. Don't come back without a moment number. Listen, right. I know yeah, I'm no, telling I you. I know it's, right. it's gonna happen. I know. It's gonna happen. Yeah. I know. No, no, no that, that's no, what I'm. You on. gotta read his disclaimer. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. He's telling you like listen, this because he's like this. Yo. Just like this. Just like this. They're gonna tell you, and like I told you that in the conversation before. Be, be, because y'all didn't have so much episodes, so much y'all can't get this. I know y'all could get anything. Everything could be got. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's just about having the right partner to understand right. y'all impact on culture. So the moment number he talking about, mm -hmm. I understand that moment. Right. And they give out that moment number with the person I was just talking to. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't see... It's some serious yeah. numbers. You know what I mean? Right. For, 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 them, for that moment, and even if it's just that day, right. it's, 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 it's unbelievable money right there for that. Right. So I know what he's talking about. He's right. supposed yeah. to get that. He no, put just, the work in to get that shit. Right. I'm just telling you how to read his disclaimer. I know what he's saying. I know what he's saying. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Man, we would understand what he's saying. He was murdered. P. Diddy <laughs> made him pretty. <laughs> <laughs> now all about the dollars you need to get with me. <laughs> but now, but now, this whole thing. What's up? Any music coming out? I just seen. We just seen you spitting. We went crazy on the recipe. This is what I'm trying to explain to y'all. We got songs done. I don't oh, know how time we got these sports fans. Oh, man. <laughs> man, 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 man. I don't know how much he be wanting. I'm just telling you something. It's, it's a bunch well, of shit. Well, Mace went to church, the Lord blessed him. Bless him. Bless him. It's a different blessing. That's it, Gary. Because you also said, too, Gilly, you said, I don't care what we doing. Six o'clock come, he got to get that sermon. That n rolls out. <laughs> right, bye, killer. I'm gone. That's, that's I gotta, I gotta get on the. Yeah. yeah. So I said, okay. I do a summer. I do a summer with. It was called Summer with God. It's a mentorship for just a bunch of bunch of people around the world. That's beautiful. That's what's up, man. Around the world, though. Yeah. Not in the country. Yeah. See, one thing about me, man. I respect all religions, man. I don't care. What you which what, what religion you are, what you believe in, just believe in something, man. So yeah, that's a fact. That's what I'm at. That's what it's about, man. But listen, man, we gotta uh we gotta figure it out, man, because the people wanna see y'all bad. They wanna see y'all bad. I know this I, I know. We gonna get we gotta figure the number the moment number. The, that's what it is, the, the moment, moment number. number. I'm already turning to a moment agent. 
Go get that money number. <laughs> yeah. Because I know where it's at. It's all, it's all, that, that's what I be trying to tell people. Like, Gil, 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 somebody will call Gil, be like, hold on, let me put you on the phone while I tell people. They be like, what? Show me the money. I'm going to show you where the money at. It's all over this joint. We keep looking at the regular, the regular, oh, this is the only way. No, it's a thousand brands out here. Mm-hmm. They got money just sitting around that, that, mm-hmm. that somebody got to be able to articulate culture and your impact on culture to them. And they like, oh, what? That's what that mean? They going to you know, bring Trump. Beep, beep, beep. It's a rap. Right. Life changing money. So, you know, it's like, I understand what he's saying, though, because that's a big moment. Yeah, it's just understanding, like, a lot of artists do this well, and some artists don't. I think Killer was one of the Can't. people that also the text, was able it? to do this very well. It's when you can when you can see the future it's, it's of the business. You got to make the number the future um, number. Yes, you can't yes. lock yourself in for one thing, uh, and it uh, turns it into yeah. multi millions, and you only was locked in for a hundred thousand. Yeah, you, you played yourself. You played yourself. So that's that's really what he. It's just like about. publishing. Yeah. When they go to sell by the publishing, uh, uh, you know, catalogs yeah. and all that. Knowing what it turned into. It's going to turn into yeah. five years from now. You know, so we're going to figure that out. But listen, man, at the end of the day, man. Call me, man. I am, I, I'm, I'm going to call always you. listening. I'm yeah. going to call you, but my whole thing <laughs> is this. None of you would have went to play in the NBA. That we, let's get that. We got to end this shit. Yeah. You yeah. was journeyman. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all was bitch yeah, commissioner. Yeah, y'all was a bitch commissioner. That's why. That's why I'm saying. Journeyman. Listen, I couldn't think you'd have been playing. He'd have been. First of all, he was a captain of the wrestling team. Gil would have been a bitch commissioner or something. I see. I went to the Fresh Air Fund too with the white people too. Where they sent them to the Fresh Air Fund. You posted on your page. Yeah, and he stole it. And he stole it. Yeah, I'm gonna say this. And hold on, hold on. What about when you was locked up and you was the the uh what was you the captain? What was the names? Who? When you all went, got the cowboy suit on and you in the front seat. No, that was, that was Vision Quest. That was Vision. Juvenile shit. Well, what was Soldier. the name of it? Buffalo but Soldiers. That was Juvenile. <laughs> you know, but listen, I'm going to say this. It was the captain I'm of the say Buffalo this at the end of Soldiers. The day. I don't know who was the player that Mace called the bum. And I was like, no, he's good. Mace ain't no game to be calling him a bum. It was some dude that wound up being a bum. But I'm saying, if he in the NBA, how can these boys call him a bum? It ain't no bums in the NBA. You know, I was when I was arguing with you about, he was like, "No, it's a bunch of bums in the NBA." Lo, <laughs> I'm like, "No, it's not. These <laughs> is professionals." Like, I didn't understand that. So, you know, because my game is a little throwback. So I wasn't, I didn't never get tap into from having a game to being ever the sports analyst that you dudes is. But I don't understand how y'all, all three, of y'all be calling people bums and they professional athletes. Who is playing the league right now? Giannis brothers. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> What we said is we, we managed it the other day on the show. They are probably the only two people that you have no footage on to get them to the league. Everybody you got a scout tape on, college film, high school film. You cannot find any film on Giannis's brothers to justify them being in the NBA. That's why Gil and Mickey, you ain't had no film. <laughs> you ain't had no film, that's- that's why you went to the neighborhood college. You ain't had no film. I know. I was trying to wonder. He didn't have no film. You ain't had no film. That's why you still play the play. I got film with you. You the forty year old. You like a forty. Listen, you the forty year old gym rat. You just be in the gym shooting all day. He shooting all day. Of course you won't make the jokes. First of all, first of all, you in the gym all night. You know I only go to the gym. You got a gym membership. Eat all day. Gym membership. I you smoke weed on, all day and I play he basketball like no three, four times yeah. a month. He didn't have and it's no. Over, I know what you're talking about. Me. No proof that you was who you say you were. You could try to show my game, shit, but everybody man. in the hood just laughing. Like, yeah, why would just being funny? <laughs> we know what Gil college. was. Yeah. You went to a strip what mall college. College. Yeah. college. I went to a legendary college. That's your whole. This is the size of a Chinese store. That's your whole like. It's five people in the room. He's a bum. He's a bum. Like these boys is crazy, man. Because he was the. Wrestling champion Jim. Yeah, <laughs> Call him Dick Flair. Yo, I'll be in the gym too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the gym. Get the fuck out of here. You know that shit. Bro, no, and yeah. he was the captain of the sewing team. Yo, I'll be in the gym. Nick Sweaters. Captain of the sewing team. Nick Sweaters. His <laughs> name Big Stormy and shit listen, like this. Listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. listen. And then I'll be in the gym. I'll be in the gym with this nigga. This nigga be in the gym. Shooting these shots, getting this shit off with these bums. These these dudes never play no real first organized all, ball. He all, getting shit off. He, he in there snapping. You see me do that what? against Lethal Shooter. I'm like, you see me do that against Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, he's Before, a football you player. You see me do that against Famous Loose. Who's Famous Loose? Uh, a 
on Instagram just ain't none go of them play, play in the league. basketball. None of them played Who? in the college. Please. They didn't even play college. You already seen Rasheed Wallace come up and say, no, Gil Cook. You, 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 she, to, you listen, already see Alvin Williams I'm a, I'm to, I'm that played in the league. I I'm, cook I'm, I'm, Ask Cat Mobley. I'm I'm I the, cook Listen, you, you super good because I've seen you big three MVP back to back. But to Wallow's point, you didn't. Everybody you named has never Thank been in the you. league just now. Bro. Nobody never had no. Nobody never, never played in the league. You just you, 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 you ain't your cook, favorite. You ain't that's your favorite. I will you ain't cook, cook the shit out of Joe Johnson. Yo, yo, that's right your now. favorite. I will cook the shit out of Joe Johnson. All of them that Joe played in the league. Joe Jackson. Joe Johnson. Joe Jackson. Joe Jackson. <laughs> no, that don't fucking Joe Jackson. No, no, Joe Jackson. Joe Jackson. Joe Jackson. Joe Jackson. Joe Jackson. Joe Jackson. <laughs> I you, Joe, you kill Joe Johnson right now? I will cook this well, shit I, out of ice. I Joe. He lying. Okay, this, right, this is a good one. Joe. This is a good one. He lying. Because Gil nice. Yo, for, I, what the you mean I'm lying, dog? Let me ask Everybody you I get on the fucking court. First of all, I don't even play over 35. That's disrespecting my game. That's like playing a park card. Because right. <laughs> you talk about I don't even play old. Oh, okay, I only you, play young. You better. Let me ask you this question. And I'm just, just my opinion. Because... <laughs> I stopped hating on you a while ago, so I root for you. I'm okay, like, fuck it, this nigga that, Gill man. is out here killing. Yeah. Thank you, And man. I can't kill like this, and I was jealous, and he I was mad. He, he but playing. are you better than Jamal Crawford right now? Yes. Now you're out your damn Thank you. Thank you. Now you know bro. what I'm talking about. This, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Okay. This, okay. okay, let me just say this. Jamal Crawford is going to get his baskets. That's what he do. He cook everybody. Okay. But guess who else going in the oven? Jamal <laughs> Crawford, he got a fing guard. All right, let's think of now, somebody I'm that's like, your height. I'm like Bubba. I'm like Bubba Chuck. I know I'm a motherfucking liability on motherfucking defense, but guess what? I'm such a liability on offense that it don't even matter. Ask Rowdy Rebel, got him the fuck out of here. Ask Rob Fortnite, got him the fuck out of here. Ask Chris Brown, got him the fuck out of here. He's talking about a bunch Ask of dudes Russ, that smoke bad got weed. Him the out of here. These young boys Yo, smoke bad. Hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. You, you see me Jamal playing? Crawford, wait, hold on. <laughs> you see me playing lethal shooter? That is in the gym every day, all day, right? We playing one on one. Did he have to take me to the basket and push me out of bounds? I said, "Damn, bro, you playing like this?" He said, "I gotta win." Six four, six five, two fifty. You seen the f me oh, cooking oh. this? Can I say this? Back to back. Can. That's can. the thing. Can. That's the thing about me. Can. I don't quit to give a highlight tapes. All my so shit be in a row. You gon' get baskets in a row. Six, seven straight baskets in a row. Everything I love. Most of the time. Most of the time in the gym. Cam, Cam. Most of the time he in the gym. Ninety nine percent of the time he in the gym. He's playing against that do two things: either smoke bad weed or play with their nose. So the don't care. So you gonna say you know Lee Chopper smoke? No, I ain't talking about the young folks. That's who I'm playing. I'm talking when you be in the gym. Y'all the devil play old. Play old man. This is what I'm saying. It's two things. It's two things. Now it's two things. Now it's two things. Real quick, it's bubs. It's two things. Like I gotta say, I'm not hating on Gilly. That nigga got MVP in the big three twice back to back. I help him get that. No, but hold on. Let me say what I gotta say real quick. But everybody Gil named never been the NBA, and when it's time to go to the NBA, he always go to Catino Mobley. This is the fourth time we've been together, hey, and it's go to the Catino Mobley. So they can vote for me. All yeah. you gotta do is call Jamal Crawford up. I'll be in Atlanta. This is a bum. Deep frying. This is a bum. Hey, hey, we had this conversation. Gil, stop it, bro. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who that? You stop it, Fox. You, stop. you call stack, stack up. Stack yeah. said, stop it, bro. First of all, do you know how much mileage Jamal Crawford got on them f***ing knees? I just hey, hey, Oh, What about Isaiah Thomas? Hold up, hold up. Yo, ask Stack. Support y'all, and I'm watching now. Shout out to all y'all. Love all y'all. Appreciate it. Hey, yo, Stack, let me ask Stack. Yo, Stack. Can I? Yo, Stack. Stack, I can be Stack. So you don't think I'll give yo, Jamal Crawford some stack, baskets? Stack, Stack, he said he better than Jamal Crawford right now. Cam. Him. That's what made me call in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what made niggas call in. Yo, you wildin'. You out of your mind, man. I just had to call in and say, stop it, bro. He said he ain't never. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, I call in and say, stop it. Y'all hating on my game. I told you I ain't Let me just ask you a question. Do y'all know what the youngins call me? 
What is Chauncey Gillups. What's the new one? What's happening? What's the new one? Damien Gillup. Gillup. Yeah, we know the nickname. Sam Gilsell. You, you gave yourself all these names. No, the young niggas call me this. Shay <laughs> Gilgis Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Grant Gill. <laughs> when I'm really on, you know what they call me? Mike Gill Jordan. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I told you I'm not hating on you, but you gotta start with Jamal yeah, Crawford. Yeah, You're going too far. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you Jamal Crawford. Listen, right now he on me and I was worth a game. I bet you Jamal Crawford will not accept this challenge one on one. I call him and see. <laughs> By, ton- by tonight, I have an answer for All you. Right. One on one, I'm gonna come to wherever he at. I'm gonna bring my no, cameras. No, 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 no. We gonna get the money out of it. We gonna, we gonna wait. Same way, while I'm setting up, okay. we gonna set, we it, gonna up. set right. it up. We pay per view in that. Jamal Crawford against Damian Gillard. You, you wow. out your mind, girl? I was with you for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> What's Jamal about? Six four. Yes, that's, that's, that's easy. That's work. why I said Isaiah that's Thomas. Work. He is size. Oh no, I and deep fry Isaiah Thomas. He too. Little man, you got to be at least six three, six four to even. Mad disrespectful Dog. to Seattle players, man. Dog. Seattle Dog. is Dog. nice, bro. Super Isaiah Thomas is a f-ing legend. I will deep fry his young ass, <laughs> deep oven fry, bro. My shit is. I shoot better than seventy percent of the in the NBA you right, now. Dumb, you right now. Yeah. Yeah. Right now. Right now. You're not shooting when they shoot that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you ain't okay. got the defense okay. on you. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see me playing the big three. Mm-hmm. I hit four threes and a four pointer. Did any of them that played in the big three hit, hit any of that? Shit? I'm confused. Yo, my yo, shit is damn near. Yo, it's damn near yeah, if yeah, you're yeah, open. Yeah, you gotta it's stop. Good. You gotta, you gotta stop a little bit. Let's shooting is shooting. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta shooting stop. Shooting is shooting, right? Yeah. You gotta stop. Larry, Larry, Larry. If, I threes, <laughs> if I had four threes, if I had four threes and a four pointer. <laughs> Said Rowdy Rebel and and another yeah, night. Like, like, Rowdy Rebel, that? my man, but you. But he garbage, yeah. right? Nah, nah, I don't know. I just see the highlights. <laughs> Everybody highlights is gonna look good on Instagram. I don't know. No, I don't I, know that's if the difference. Not. I don't do highlights. I show you baskets you can't in a row. Fuck with Jamal Crawford. Everybody else, I got your back, and I don't know about Drake right. Johnson either. Well, so so, so name Jamal one else, Mark. In the I'm, I'm the only two. Me I'm against Isaiah you. Thomas. That's perfect because we both left handed. Yeah, that's why I said that. Yeah, set it up, Zeke. What you want to do? Just. Crazy. What you want to do? These I are that still could be in the league. Yeah, that's why I said that. <laughs> yeah, it ain't like they washed. That's the beauty of it. That's what's gonna make it good. Pause. That's the beauty of it because. Let oh me ask no, you a you're question. not beating this dude. <laughs> let me ask you a question. Do you not think? I'm a, do you not think I'm? A, I'm not gonna get off. If you don't see the part, the thing about it, it depends on how the rules go. If the loser take the ball out, then maybe. But if the winner take the person who scored take to get the ball back. You may not get the ball. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, to wrap it up. Yeah, wrap it up. Man. <laughs> that, I slapped the floor like Duke on him. <laughs> now he Bobby Hurley. You, you cannot steal the ball from Jamal Crawford, bro. He can't steal the ball from me. L- Jamal get, Crawford, get, you, beast. You, listen, not nothing, shit on a yo-yo. Another thing is like this, Gil, and I'm, I'm telling you because I'm, I'm not hating on you. <laughs> it's a shot clock. You like to catch your breath. You hold the ball. No. You, yes, you, I see no. what you get. Hold, hold, let me I, ask I'm you a question. You this. I'm telling you. How I'm many games you. did I play the other day playing against the pros? You'll run like seven. You, and, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait all, all these players played NBA G League and overseas. Yo, yo, they, yo, hold on. They yo. all played for money, right? Yeah. What was the record when we left out of that month? You filmed it. Uh, four, three, Who you work for, oh, bro? Okay. <laughs> Who you work for? Oh, no, it's on oh, film. No, no I, asked, it's on I, film. I asked him, what do you have to say? Hold on. <laughs> you want to pull up the film? <laughs> yeah, with, yeah, with shaking the, the narrative. Yeah, you work for him. Yeah, yeah, shaking the narrative. You want to yeah, pull yeah, up the yeah. film for them <laughs> with a <laughs> who's 6'8 is sitting on the floor saying, I can't believe I lost Where this is nigga this that? Who does he play for? He played G League. 10 years overseas. G League. It's a Cisco this Bobcat. He played <laughs> he played professional ball. <laughs> it ain't my fault, you know, we play it. I'm, I'm just saying, saying all I, I said was professional athletes I got for a three, living. I got three Isaiah Thomas, Jamal Crawford, hey, and ISO Joe. Everything else you got. I ISO got, Joe. You, you got credit. Joe, Joe Johnson. Johnson. Come on, man. You gotta give Joe me a Johnson credit. Joe Johnson like six nine, ain't he? Yeah. This is he what he said he cooked. He said he would cook Joe Johnson. I'm not saying that. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm going to win, but they're going to be like, man, Gilly was cooking that, man. He going to block all your shots. Now you crazy as them old ass knees, man. Play 11,000 games, man. The attendance all loose and shit, man. He got man, gout? Man, I run like a young You just seen me beat my 26-year-old fucking brother in a race. Everybody you name don't count, bro. You keep <laughs> naming random people. He got me on his house. I cook wild over before. I'm yeah. beating 26-year-old in races, man. Think about that. Crazy. Yo, think about bro, your, think it, about it, your son who walk around here with his shirt all off it, like it, this. <laughs> you going outside and beating him in a race right now? I'm, it depends. I can I can no, beat you niggas in a race. No, you can't, Cam. You dead I can't Horace play Bible basketball. No, up, I can't play basketball for forty That's minutes. <laughs> but a race, I got a here could beat you in a race. The fuck out of here. My man Tito, you only go better with Tito right, right there. Right there. <laughs> yeah, Tito, I I right now. Put the shit out of Tito. Hundred dollars, hundred dollars when it's over, he beat you in a race. Out of Tito. It's a bet. Tito, I don't even know why you raise your hand. You volunteered for a cooking. Tito's 20. Tito, are you 23, man? Nah, Tito, 46. Tito, how old is you? No, how old is you for real, Tito? 1977, March 21st. Y'all the same. Oh, you talking about that old? Yes. I thought you was talking about younger than the bet. No, I cooked it. It's a race. It's a bet. I will cook this. Yes. Yeah. I, I got he raised this hand. I'm talking no, here. No, that hey. old ass. Hundred dollars. Y'all the same age. Gil gonna smoke it. I will run him out. Bet. Them black <laughs> forces. A side bet. Side what the bet. F is you talking about? That's a side bet. Yeah. That is all. No, 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 no. He's stuffy no, no, up top. No, 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 no. This one I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lay you. That is all up top. Yeah. Two hundred to your hundred. You can bet more. <laughs> Oh, I bet. I, just two the Cause bar. ACL might be. <laughs> that's, that's a bet. That's a bet. Cause you better cook it. Your muscles ain't it. We got you got to run like this. Right. Yeah. You can't even run like this. You yeah. gonna be sad after this, girl. Then after that, we need to put the He's stretching. He's stretching his shit. Ain't no shit on the show. Yes. Yes. You want to use your right? Yes. Why wouldn't we? I bet. That's a, as soon as it's over, we going right outside. Right, right the street. outside. It's it, street it's, right there. You need to let me smoke coming right the weed. don't give a fuck about none of you it. You think you're talking about going to give me two to one letting, You think I'm letting the old head that smoke reefer beat me, man? All right, You still smoke reefer, man. That nigga stretched. Look, he stretched. He over there sweating. Look. That nigga stretched. Look. Look at the sweat coming down. All he did was stretch. Look at it. We got to talk about it no more. All he did was stretch. Let's get to the work. Come on, let's get to it. Let's get to it. It's just like that. Right. Hey, let me get the winner. I'll take the winner. I'll take the winner because I know I'm from where to where, Mace. Stop sign. Stop sign. Can I get the winner? Gilly look like he's walking slow down there. They gonna smoke Gilly. That's uphill too. He wanted that Gilly want to go downhill. Stay up there so we can make sure niggas ain't in front of. No, I'm going to be down here oh, to right, say right, who right, won. Right. I'm going to lift Mace, my hand Mace. if the left side win or the right <laughs> side <laughs> win. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. I'm clocking you your time. Come on. My hamstring acting up today. <laughs> Yo, make sure you get out on camera because Mace might cheat. Ready? Set, go! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh yeah, he beat Jeff. Who won? No one. No one. Get those cats! Go to the tape! Ah, I knew Tito won. Tito won. You grabbing your leg? <laughs> my knot up, man. Tito was at eight point three. You were at um eight fifty two. Cause you had one. one. Everybody was watching. You know everybody. You had him at first. Yeah. You had him. You had him. You had him. But that's what. Now, what do we do when we win money? We rip it up. What? What is the money? Uh, what you better not do that, nigga. You don't take. Money, we. <laughs> 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 That's money from 88. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
That's how Harlem feel about Gilly right there. Money's so good here, man.